Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim. Your favourite characters come to life on video. Rosie and Jim's favourite adventures aboard the Ragdoll Canal Boat are to be found on our large range of videos. And have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book. The world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Wah! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> And don't forget Thomas the Tank Engine. The adventures of him and all his friends can be watched again and again on video. At a station, Thomas noticed the man looking cold and worried. He had missed his train home. Sooty's never one to be left out, and apart from his adventures, there's also a large range of special Learn With Sooty videos. They're perfect for helping with the basics of reading, numbers, safety, and many other important subjects. Two jars of sandwich spread. Sandwich spread. One, two. Hello there. My name's Matthew Corbett, and this is a video all about counting and numbers. Just to make sure that learning is always fun, the Sesame Street cast, including Big Bird and all his friends, appear in their very own video series. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here, too. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm here, because today we're going to get to go through the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P And this time it's a triple bonus! Q-S-M-W! Hey, can I do that again? Marshmallows. Meatballs. Mm, ready to munch. Mm. All right, uh, I want to do the tape milk. Mm. Zebra! Yeah, these and many more of your favourites are available from all leading video stockists. It's spring once again. The snow has melted and the riverbank is coming back to life after its long sleep. But not everybody finds a nice surprise waiting for them. Poor Hammy Hamster wakes to find that his little house is ruined. Oh dear, oh dear, what am I going to do? Oh, you silly tree causing me all this trouble. Oh, I'll never be able to clear all this mess. 
I'd better find myself somewhere else to live. There's nowhere to live here, that's for sure. Morning, Hammy. Who's that? Who's that? I said morning, Hammy. Oh, uh, uh, it's you, Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> uh, can I come and live with you? Oh, no. I live in a burrow, deep in the ground. Too dark for you. You'd be frightened. Then Hammy had a clever idea. He'd ask Mr. Tortoise the postman. After all, it's his job to know all the homes along the river bank. Oh, oh, Mr. Tortoise. Uh, morning, Hammy. I was just about to go out on my round. I don't remember any letters for you, though. No, no, no. I, I came to ask if you knew where I may find another place to live. Oh, well, I can't think of anywhere. Uh, I'd invite you to come and live with me, but uh, as you can see, it's a squeeze just getting myself into here. <laughs> oh, yes, I can see. <laughs> Perhaps I should go and ask my friend Roderick. Roderick! Roderick! What's going on? Who's that shouting? Oh, it's you, Hammy. Oh, nice to see you again. Just wait there, and I'll fetch you across in my boat. Hammy had forgotten just how cosy Roderick's house is. He'd love to stay there, and Roderick would love to have him, but they both knew that a water rat's house is much too damp for a hamster. So it's back to the boat. Where, where are we going, Roderick? Oh, down the river to visit GP. <laughs> He'll be able to help. <laughs> now, you go up front and make sure we don't crash into anything. Aye, aye, Skipper. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Steady as she goes. Steady. Hard to starboard. And so they arrive safely at the house of GP, the guinea pig. GP lives in a mill. I wonder if I could live here. Oh, don't be silly. It's far too small. What you need, Hammy, is somewhere warm. Am I right? Oh, oh yes, please and dry. Oh, that would be lovely. And quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know of anywhere? No. I'm the faintest idea. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> GP loved to joke, but he did know a place that Hammy would like very much. The place GP has thought of is just around the next bend. Of course, it needed tidying and a lot of fixing, and even some tightening. Have you guessed what it is yet? That's right. It's an old boot. But inside, it was warm and snug and tidy as anything. Oh, I'll pop the kettle on. I think we all deserve a nice cup of tea. <laughs> and that night, the three friends had a feast fit for a king. Oh, I'm going to enjoy living here. Yeah. And we're going to enjoy visiting you, especially if you give parties as good as this one. It's late, one moonlit night, but the light is still on in Hammy's little house. Uh, don't stop, Hammy. No, go on, please. Yes, it, it's just getting to the exciting bit. Well, uh, <laughs> let, let, let me see. Where, where was I? Oh, 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 yes. And so the fearless voyagers sailed on, searching 
for new lands. Oh, my tummy. Oh, oh, I am mine too. Oh, no sign of land, Captain. No, but there's a storm brewing. The first animals came to the river bank. Cool. I bet that ship's still there, on the bottom of the river. Yeah, probably. Do you think we could find it? Well, we could always try. Oh, that's a great idea, Roderick. Yeah, let's try. The riverbank has changed a lot since the days of the shipwreck, but Roderick is pretty sure he's found the right place, and he lowers Hammy down into the river in GP's latest invention, a diving bell. There's nothing to be seen here. Except fish. I'll, I'll move a bit further along. Not, not a thing. Not. Oh well. I suppose. I'll... Wait a minute. That looks like wreckage. Oh, and there's more over there. And, and oh, what's that? Oh gosh, this is exciting. Oh, I can't wait to get it up to the surface. You're right, Roderick. It was just where you said. Uh, all right, all right. Never mind all that. Let's get this chest open. Hoop! 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 Oh! Just look at this. We're rich. We're rich. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> what if this is all a dream? Look, let's pinch each other uh, to find out. No, Hammy, no pinching. If it is a dream, it is so good, I don't want to wake up. <laughs> It's early morning on the riverbank, and Owl is just thinking about going to bed when he hears a strange and unusual noise. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? It's Betty the Gypsy. She comes to the riverbank every spring to tell all the animals' fortunes. Your name is GP, and it stands 
foggy pig. Well, I know that. I know that. Tell me something I don't know. I know what I know already. GP was never very good at sitting down quietly and listening. He is very good at talking, though, as Miss Much in the corner shop knew already. She didn't tell me anything. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm sure she didn't. In fact, she made the whole thing up. Oh, I, I'm sure she did. Now, what was it you wanted? Oh, uh, I, I, I can't remember. Well, uh, maybe you should go and ask the fortune teller. <laughs> Not everyone on the riverbank, however, thinks as GP does. Some, like Hammy, believe in the fortune teller and are even a little wary of her. Uh, is it far? Will it take us long to get there? If you want to see the fortune teller, then you must learn to be patient. Oh, I'm sorry, Roderick. I'll try. Good, because first I've got to do some shopping and then I've got to fill up with petrol. And all that could take us a long time. Roderick was right. All the jobs did take him and Hammy a long time. So long, in fact, that it is night time before they arrive to see Betty at all. By now, Hammy is a little frightened. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who's that? What do you want? And poor Roderick isn't much better. <laughs> Sorry, but to bother you, but we wondered if you would tell us our fortunes. Of course, my dears. Come in, come in. Don't be frightened. Now, let me look in my crystal ball. That's it. Come closer. Stare right into the light and tell me what you see. Mm -hmm. Hammy and Roderick can't believe their eyes. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. How is she doing it, Roderick? I don't, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> well, I have. It's a trick. What you mean? I mean, it's a trick. I mean, if you look closely, you'll find some wires or something holding it up. I can do tricks like that myself. Well, I can't see any wire. That's because you're not looking in the right place. Here, let me. I tell you, there's wires or something holding it up. They're around you somewhere. They're just cleverly hidden, that's all. GP doesn't find any wires. And the next morning, Betty packs up her things and says goodbye. Goodbye, Hammy. Oh, uh, goodbye, Betty. Goodbye, GP. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> It's a pity, in a way, that GP didn't see what Owl saw as Betty went by. Her caravan was moving all by itself. Owl, of course, knew she was a real fortune teller all the time. But then, as everyone knows already, owls are wise, aren't they? It's another beautiful day on the riverbank, and a perfect day for flying, as Roderick explains to Miss Much in the general store. You say GP's gonna give Hammy a ride in his aeroplane? Yes, today, as it's uh, so nice out. But Hammy's afraid of heights. Oh, he'll be all right. 
GP will look after him. Hmm. Well, I hope he doesn't play any of his stupid jokes on poor Hammy. Y you know what GP's like? Yes, I know exactly what he's like. At the plane, GP is already waiting. Come on, Hammy, hurry up. We've missed the best part of the day as it is. Oh, I'm sorry, GP. Honey, I was looking for something that might do as a crash helmet, but I couldn't find anything. My dear boy, if we're going to crash, you'll need a parachute. Oh, well, shall I get one of those? Look, do you want a trip in my plane or not? Well, um, I, uh, well, hurry up and get aboard. Hammy is beginning to have doubts, but before he knows it, he's in the plane, the engine is started. a kite. There you go. I told you it'd be all right. Oh, it, it's an awfully long way to the ground, GP. Oh, don't worry about that. Enjoy it. Look, you can see for miles. Oh, I, I don't want to see for miles, thank you. In fact, if you don't mind, just for now, I think I'll close my eyes so I don't see it at all. After a while, Hammy begins to enjoy the trip. Oh, I, I say, GP, this is, is good fun, isn't it? <laughs> Just look how small everything looks from up here, GP. GP? GP? But GP isn't there. Poor Hammy. Where's he gone? GP? Where are you, GP? Don't do this, GP. It's not funny. GP? GP? Oh, GP! Hammy suddenly realises he's all alone. Oh, he must have fallen out. He, he must have fallen out. Oh, no. Help! Oh, SOS! No, May, Mayday! Ah. Then, just as Hammy is thinking of taking his chances, by jumping out to, what's all the noise and fuss about? I was only hiding. I thought I'd play a little joke on you. <laughs> GP, that wasn't funny. Yes, it is. And this is going to be too. Now, all tight. Oh! Oh! GP shows Hammy a few of his tricks. Going up, going down, and even upside down, until... Hammy, I, I don't want to worry you, but I think we're about to crash. <laughs> don't be silly, GP. <laughs> I, I know this is another of your jokes. <laughs> Hammy is fine after the crash. And the only thing of GP's that is hurt is his pride as he comes to collect his poor plane. I'm never, ever going to show off in my plane again. For once, wise old owl doesn't have to say a thing. summertime along the riverbank and the air is warm and filled with the humming of bees and the scent of flowers there's one place you really shouldn't be indoors oh Roderick I'm bored with playing cards and what do you suggest instead well 
A picnic. A picnic? Why, why didn't you say so before? I love picnics. If anything, it's an even nicer day by the time the two friends set off to buy what they need. When they reach the general store, Roderick stays behind to keep an eye on the boat, while Hammy pops inside to do the shopping. Oh, hello, Miss Munch. Oh, hello, Hammy. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for things to take on a picnic. Oh, well, let me see if I can help. Uh, I've got some nice lettuce. Oh, no. oh, I'm sick of lettuce. Well, what about some nice strawberries? Oh, yes, lovely. And some nice juicy apples? Oh, yeah. And, uh, and so, some of these, please. And now, back on the move again, the two friends make a big mistake. They decide to ask GP to come along, too. Look, GP, old boy, why can't we go by boat, hmm? Yes, it would be much more better. Ooh! Because this is the modern way to travel. Well, you said that about airplanes. Ah, but this is different. Hey, look, down there, it's Turtle pulling King Gus. Uh, can you hear something, Turtle? Yeah, it seems to be coming from up there, somewhere. Yahoo! Turtle! Your Majesty! Sounds very like GP. <laughs> uh, he probably... He, he wants to watch himself, you know, yeah. a post he is. Never mind. Look! Over there, Amy. It's your cousin Freddy. You, Freddy! But Freddy couldn't hear GP either. Freddy! Freddy! Up here! Freddy! GP. What did you mean when you said balloons are different from aeroplanes? Well, you don't know where you'll end up. You just let the wind take you along. But we've been blowing about for ages. Have we? All right, well then, let's go down and see where we are. <laughs> You really are, silly GP. Yes. Fancy us ending up right back where we started. Never mind. <laughs> it's a lovely picnic. Yes. And there's something else that's lovely. What? Well, it's lovely to go on an outing and not have to travel all the way home again. <laughs> <laughs> There are lots of different kinds of animals that live along the riverbank. Some, like Hammy and Roderick, enjoy peace and quiet. They like to read. There are others, though, along the riverbank who can't sit still. Whoa! <laughs> they like to be out 
and about, always doing something. What are you reading about, Hemi? Oh, I'm reading about a man who flew all around the world in an aeroplane. Really? Yeah, look, here's a map of the places he went to. Hmm, hmm, GP would be interested in that. Yeah. Hammy and Roderick decide to show GP the map and tell him about the man who flew around the world. They know he likes adventure stories. What they don't realize is that he also likes acting out adventure stories. GP hasn't used his plane since he crashed it into a tree. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll need to do a bit of repair work here. So he sets to work, tightening, hammering, gluing, until it's just like new again. All that remains is for GP to fill it with fuel. He thinks long and hard about how much he'll need. It's a long way around the world. Whatever GP will run out of, it won't be fuel. But what else will he need for his journey around the world? Yes, well, food, I suppose. Yes. Hat? No. Blanket? Hmm, I wonder. Whatever GP will run out of, it won't be food either. Now, sandwiches, lots of sandwiches, in you go. Bread, cakes, nice warm blanket, and lots and lots of fruit. <laughs> My favorite. At last, GP is ready to go. Contact. Woohoo! Woo steady, steady. Up we go. I'm worried about GP, Roderick. It's a long way round the world. I do hope he'll be all right. Oh, don't worry about him. He can look after himself. GP certainly isn't worried about heights. Now, let me see where we are. Good. Bang on course. Oh, no. What's gone wrong? The plane is beginning to fall. Oh, no. The petrol pipe's fallen out. I just need uh, to get the, the, the pipe uh, and put it in the, the... Ooh, That was close. I think maybe I'd better forget about going all the way around the world. After all, Hammy and Roderick might be worried about me. Not that I am, of course. Now, let me have a look. Which way is it back to the riverbank? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Here we go again. Hold on, GP. Hold tight. You're nearly home. Woohoo! Hello. Thank goodness you're old, GP. I've been worried about you all day. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> Flying around the world <laughs> is easy. <laughs> Lots of whispering going on along the riverbank today. The animals seem to have a secret. I wonder what it can be. Maybe it's something to do with the meeting King Gus has called. Yes, uh, 
gather round, everyone. Now, I've got something important to say to you. Now, as you know, uh, today it is a very special day. What's so special about Wednesday? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, it's Wednesday, 1st of April. What's so special about that? Well, I... I... can't say. Uh, why not? Well, I... Uh, I'm not allowed to. Oh, well. It was hardly worth coming, then. <laughs> I'm off. Me too. And me. And so, everyone goes about their business, leaving behind Turtle and a very sad King Gus. None of them remembered. Who remembered what? Well, my birthday. Your birthday? Oh, is that all? I thought it was something serious. Well, it is serious. It only happens once a year. Oh, well, let's hope they remember next year. Now, let's go home and have a nice cup of tea. King Gus isn't as young and lively as he used to be. Nowadays, he travels along in a little cart pulled by Turtle. Off they go, trundling along the riverbank. King Gus, still unable to forget the disappointment of no one remembering his birthday. But little does King Gus know, Tammy hasn't forgotten. He's watching him at this very moment. Oh, well, let's get on. There's no point in sitting around all day long feeling depressed. It's my own silly fault for expecting everyone to remember. After all, it's my birthday. No one else is. And it's only a special day for me. There's no reason at all for any of the animals to get excited. No, it's there. Uh, not really, I suppose. And that's exactly what one of the other animals is doing. Hammy is getting very excited. Oh, there they are. It's time to warn the others. Not too far now, Your Majesty. Another couple of minutes, and we'll be home. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All this excitement, I can hardly catch my breath. I do hope everything's ready. You, you haven't dozed off, Your Majesty, have you? No, no. Just a bit down, that's all. But he won't be for long, because just around the corner... Ah, Your Majesty, just in time. Yeah, for what? Your surprise birthday party. But, uh, I, I thought you'd forgotten. You never said? Well, of course we never said. April 1st is not only your birthday, it's also April Fool's Day. And we thought we'd fool you. <laughs> now, took in. We've got lots and lots of goodies just waiting to be eaten. Majesty, you're crying. Yes, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I'm crying tears of happiness. <laughs> I've never before had such an absolutely wonderful birthday. Another winter's been and gone, and left Roderick with a lot of fixing to do to his little boat. Oh dear, oh dear, it's the same every year. 
Oh, it's so annoying. Still, it has to be done. Hmm. After all, I don't know what I'd do without a boat. And so he works long and hard. Until at last, he's finished and settles back to wait for the paint to dry. Hey, Roderick. What are you up to? Oh, hello, GP. <laughs> Hammy. I, uh, well, uh, I'm just getting ready to launch my boat. Oh, we're just in time, then. <laughs> Come on, GP. No, 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 wait. I'm not sure it's properly waterproofed yet. No? Well, uh, let's test it and see. There. That's fine. It's not soaking in. <laughs> Come on, GP. Let her go. Hammy, GP, be careful. Look, that group. Oh, it's caught around the engine. Oh, dear, dear. Now look what's happened. Oh, we'll never be able to get it back. Oh, yes, we will. And before you can say helpful, Hammy Hamster, the diving bell's being pushed into position. with Hammy inside, is lowered into the river. Oh, my goodness me, this is hard work. Oh, I wouldn't want to do this too often. <laughs> I'll have to invent a special crane, because otherwise I'll hurt me back. <laughs> the bell's arrival arouses some interest. Oh, uh, Mrs. Goldfish, <laughs> I say, uh, you haven't by any chance uh, seen an engine, have you? <laughs> yes, I have. Mm, just over and there. Mm. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, thanks ever so much. Mm, that's all right. Mm, I need um, time. Mm. Uh, now, now comes the difficult part. Down a bit. Left a bit. Oh, you up, up, up. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Uh, try again. Uh, that, that, that's it. OK, GP. Bring me up. And with all his strength, GP pulls the bell a very muddy engine back to the surface. <laughs> You're lucky we came along, Roderick. Lucky? How? Well, we've got your engine back for you. Roderick is just about to say that if it hadn't been for them, he would never have lost it. But he doesn't. After all, They'd only wanted to help. And with friends like that, he's very lucky indeed. There's something very special happening along the riverbank today. The circus is coming, and Roderick is the very first to see it arrive. What's going on here, then, hmm? 
goodness gracious, it's a circus. And a big one, too. Oh, I'd better tell the others that it's here. Before long, all the animals along the riverbank have heard about the circus as bit by bit the enormous big top goes up into the sky. Roll up, roll up, see Jumping Jack. Gasp at the mighty mice. Hurry, hurry, get your tickets now. Hammy is so excited, he can hardly contain himself. Oh, I wonder if Roderick knows. I'd better tell him in case he doesn't. I've never seen a circus. I wonder what it'll be like. Roderick? Roderick? What on earth is the matter, Hammy? Guess what? Guess what? The circus is here. No, no, the circus is here. Oh, you knew already. Of course I knew already. Well, are we gonna go? Well, only if you eat up all your dinner. Now, come on, get cracking. Hammy eats his dinner as fast as he reasonably can. He knows Roderick is watching him carefully, so he tries not to gobble it. After all, he's Roderick's guest, and Roderick has gone to a great deal of trouble to cook him such a lovely meal. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <coughs> this is lovely. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. At last, however, he's finished and Roderick decides it's time to go. Well, come on then, we'd better be on our way. <laughs> we wouldn't want to be late now, would we, hmm? GP doesn't want to be late either. He's as excited as Hammy about the circus. So excited, in fact, he's fitting a clock to his Jeep so that he's never late for anything again. Ah, well, that, that seems to be working again now. I wonder what the time is. Oh, no. I've done it again. <coughs> I'm late. Out of the way, I'm late for the circus. Oh, why am I always late for everything? I do hope they haven't started the show without me. As it turns out, GP is on time for once. The show is just about to start, and GP, Roderick and Hammy get the best seats in the house. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that, that's oh, oh, so's that, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, I could do that. Oh, that's easy. What good is that? Can't do that. I wouldn't want to do that if they paid me. That night, tucked safely up in his bed, Hammy dreams about all the things he saw at the circus. Roll up, roll up. See Hammy the hamster as he performs his impossible tricks. Hurry, hurry. See him now. Of course, Hammy is only dreaming, but there's nothing wrong with that, is there? After all, everyone's entitled to dream every now and then, even Hammy the hamster.
Rosie. Your favourite characters come to life on video. Rosie and Jim's favourite adventures aboard the Ragdoll Canal Boat are to be found on our large range of videos. And have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> And don't forget Thomas the Tank Engine. The adventures of him and all his friends can be watched again and again on video. At a station, Thomas noticed the man looking cold and worried. He had missed his train home. Sooty's never one to be left out, and apart from his adventures, there's also a large range of special Learn With Sooty videos. They're perfect for helping with the basics of reading, numbers, safety, and many other important subjects. Two jars of sandwich spread. Sandwich spread. One, two. Hello there. My name's Matthew Corbett, and this is a video all about counting and numbers. Just to make sure that learning is always fun, the Sesame Street cast, including Big Bird and all his friends, appear in their very own video series. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm here. Because today, we're going to get to go through the whole alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P And this time it's a triple bonus! Q-S-M-W! Hey, can I do that again? Marshmallows, meatballs, mm, ready to munch. Mm. Oh, I, I want to do the cake milk. Zebra! These and many more of your favourites are available from all leading video stockists. Riverbank is very quiet today, and Roderick is a little bored. Hammy isn't bored, though. He loves shopping. Oh, hello, Miss Butch. <laughs> Especially where there's food involved. Hammy, leave that apple alone. Oh, you have to pay for what you eat, you know. As Hammy and Roderick didn't have any money on them, they decide it's probably time to leave. After all, shopping may be good fun, 
but it has to be paid for. And at least at Roderick's house, the food is free. Oh, Roderick, it's so dusty and dark in here. Uh, why don't we have a picnic? Yes, uh, hmm. I, su I suppose it is a bit musty in here. Hmm. All right, you get the basket. Oh, goody, I love picnics. Now, what do we need? Hammy's job is to hold the basket for Roderick, but he's so excited and hungry, he can't resist a nibble. Oh, oh that tastes good. You are hungry, aren't you? I'd better pack plenty of food. And that's exactly what Roderick does. Bread, lots of bread, drink, and some more bread in case they want to give some to the ducks. Hammy, will you please stop eating all the tomatoes or there won't be any left for later? Oh, oh all right, Roderick. <laughs> I'll just finish this one and then I promise. No more. On the way up river, they decide to pop in and see GP and invite him along to the feast. They know that GP loves picnics every bit as much as they do. When they get to GP's though, they're in for a surprise. Oh, what are you doing in bed, GP? Oh, I, I'm feeling a bit poorly. Oh, you don't fancy a trip down the river then? Uh, no, thank you. I think I'm best just staying here and, and resting. Oh, as you wish. Oh, it's a shame, though. It's a lovely picnic we've got. Picnic? Picnic? No one told me you were having a picnic. Wait! Roderick and Hammy find a perfect spot to eat. Yeah, this will do, Hammy. Come on, tie it up, there's a good lad. And before long, they're tucking in, and jolly good it looks too. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, GP's poorly today. Yes, so am I. Still, <laughs> all the more for us. <laughs> There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, but I thought you were ill. Ill? Me? No. Well, not ill enough to miss a picnic. Well, uh, I'm afraid we've eaten quite a lot already. Well, never mind. I'll pop back and get some more. The picnic was a great success. Although, no one enjoyed packing up. But... No one ever does, do they? Hey, where's GP gone? Oh, back to bed. He said he felt poorly again. <laughs> a likely story. But Roderick doesn't really mind. After all, he hadn't been bored all day. And it isn't long before he and Hammy are home and fast asleep too. is on his way to tea at Roderick's when he comes upon a dreadful sight. Oh, my oh goodness! Oh, the 
This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. Roderick. 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 Something awful's happened. What is it? Oh, there's no time to explain now. Just forget about tea. We're going to GPs. This is a bit sudden, isn't it? what all this is about. Look, just be patient, Rodri. Hello, GP. Rodrig. What's up? Oh, it's Hammy. He's seen something dreadful. Such as what? Oh, never mind, GP. You'll find out soon enough. And so the three friends set off in GP's balloon to solve the mystery. I hope this is worth all the fuss, Amy. Yes, so do I. And so Hammy, Roderick and GP land in the balloon and look at the terrible mess all round them. Well, what do you think? Oh, good grief. What a mess. Look at all this. And they've had a fire here. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Look, they've even left their watch. Well, they didn't mean to leave that. <laughs> Serves them right. Yeah, they, they make lovely sandwiches, though. Oh, be serious, GP. We're going to have to clear all this up. The question is, how? Well, by raft, of course. See you later. But, GP, we're, we're nowhere near the river. But it's too late. GP's gone. Only to return a few minutes later with a very clever idea. Now, come on. Don't hang about. Let's get loaded up. No, oh, GP. <laughs> what a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Just get that on board. But it's ever so heavy. Push, lad. Push! Need some help, Hemi. No, no, no. I've done it. I just can't understand how anyone can be so careless. Well, never mind. We'll soon have the riverbank clean and tidy again. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you, GP. <laughs> You mean, thanks to his flying dustbin? <laughs> <laughs> It's another warm summer's day 
on the riverbank, the sort of day when you'd normally find the animals fishing or picnicking or just lazing about. So what can Hammy and Roderick possibly be doing? Are they building a gate? Or a fence? Or perhaps even a house? Whatever it is, they're working very hard. putting the finishing touches to it. That's it. All done. Come on, Hemi. Oh. <laughs> Here, let me try. Yeah. Ah. Nearly there. <laughs> there. That's it. Oh. Well done, Roderick. Oh, thanks, Hemi. Well, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think it looks wonderful. <laughs> yes, doesn't it? Our own clock tower. Now everyone can see the time. Yes, <laughs> and they've us to thank for it. Yeah, I can't wait to see GP's face. Oh, he'll be ever so surprised. Do you think so? Oh, yes. After all, he's the inventor, but he's never thought of a clock tower. Roderick is right. GP is surprised. Did you two put that up? Yes. Isn't it great? Well, it would be if it was working. What do you mean, if it was working? Well, I've been watching it all the way over here. The hands haven't moved at all. Oh, he, he's right, Roderick. They haven't. What you've got to do is get it down and wind it up. Yeah, uh, but how? Well, the same way you got it up. Well, we pushed it up. Then we'll have to push it down again. Stand back. This is a job that calls for a bit of muscle. <laughs> and with that, GP pushes with all his might. Until at last, the clock tower falls over and the watch goes rolling along the riverbank and straight to the bottom of the river. Oh, dear me. Oh, I am sorry. Never mind, GP. But we'll never get it back. Well, maybe not, but uh, there's one good thing. What's that? <laughs> the fishes will never be late for anything again. <laughs>
Dear Diary, it hasn't rained now for three whole weeks. The river water is falling, and the trees and plants are dying of thirst. If it doesn't rain soon, I don't know what the river bank animals will do. But Hammy's wrong if he thinks everybody's unhappy with the weather. But for most of them, life is hard. Without rain, there aren't any juicy slugs for hedgehog to eat. Oh dear, just listen to my tummy rumbling. Oh, even if there were any slugs, they'd hear me coming a mile away. Oh. And without rain, the river is too low for anyone to use their boats for fishing or traveling about. This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. Oh, shocking. Yeah, oh, dreadful. Mm. What are we going to do? And then Hammy has an idea. I know. I'll go and see Betty. Perhaps she has a spell for making rain. Brilliant. Tell her to give us a real downpour. Yes, buckets of it. And right away, too. There isn't a moment to lose. I can manage. Are you sure that's what you want? Oh, yes. And quickly, too, please. All right. If that's what you want. Oh, terrific. Wonderful. Oh, it's so cool and refreshing. But it doesn't stop there. It rains and it rains and it rains and it rains for quite some while. But at long last, the rain finally stops. Oh, just look at the mess. I think she just might have overdone it. I mean, she hasn't just given us a shower or even a downpour. <laughs> She's given us an absolute flood. Still, it's better than no rain at all. And indeed it is. For, as Hammy writes in his diary, the meadow is already beginning to look green again. The birds are singing as they've never sung before. And the wheel on GP's mill is turning again. The fresh rain has brought new life to everything. And next time there's a drought, the animals will know just who to go to and just how much rain to ask for.
Eric the Rat is having a good look at GP's latest invention. Oh, yes, very strange indeed. Hmm. What do you think, Hammy? Oh, I, I can't imagine what it is. You have a go, Abe. Yes, uh, well, it's obvious, isn't it? Well, then. Well, then, what? Well, then, what is it? It's, um, uh, it's, a uh, thingy, you know, uh, a, a what's it? A what's it? Yes, um, and, uh, it's a, a, a nesting box. <laughs> You see, the birds go in through this little round thing in the front, and then at night, you put the cloak over the top to keep the birds warm. Ho, 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 ho. What a lot of nonsense. It's not a nesting box, it's a camera. A camera? Are you sure? Oh, yes, definitely. I've built it just the way the very first cameras were made. You go inside, Abe, and pull the string on the left. Uh, do, do I have to? I mean, uh, is, is it safe? Well, of course it is. Go on. Now, stand still, Hammy, and try to smile. That's it. Roderick, straighten your fur and look into the camera. Good. Good. <laughs> What's this stuff with Dev Veloper and Fixer on it? Oh, those are the special chemicals for making the photographs. Are you sure, GP? Are you absolutely sure you know what you're doing? Yes, of course. Now, let's go and develop the pictures. Are you coming, Abe? Um, uh... No, no, I, I think it's safer, I mean, uh, better, if I just stay here. Oh, shoot yourself. Come on, you two. So a worried Hammy and Roderick go with GP to the developing room. Uh, why do we need this red light? Oh, that's a special light. Ordinary light would ruin the photographs. Well, what are you doing now? Well, I'm using this special liquid to make the pictures appear. And don't either of you drink it, whatever you do. GP sets to work at the very complicated business of developing the photographs. So there's a picture there for everyone to see. Hang on. I can see the pictures coming now. It takes a long time for the pictures to appear, but it's worth waiting for, isn't it? There. What do you think of those? Oh, they're wonderful. I can't believe it. They're brilliant. No, they're not. You didn't comb your whiskers, Roderick. Really? An ammy. One of your ears isn't quite straight. Oh. A great photographer like me has to get everything right. So we're going to do it again and again until it's perfect. So it's into the Jeep and back to where GP left the camera. By now, Roderick and Hammy are a little fed up. Oh dear, thinks Hammy Hamster. Perhaps GP's latest invention isn't such a good idea after all.
in the diving bell again today. And just look what he's found. Oh, now what have I hooked up? I don't know. Perhaps Roderick knows. Roderick knows a lot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it's cleaning up well. Oh, yes, it is. What is it? Oh, it's a cannon, silly. Oh, what does a cannon do? It isn't long before Hammy learns exactly what a cannon does. But first, they need cannon balls. Explosive. And some wire to set the explosive off. Stand back, everyone. Ah! I say, that was a bit loud. Hey, where's the cannon gone? I don't know. I've still got my eyes closed. It doesn't take GP long to find the cannon or to realise that it needs something to stop it from moving every time it's fired. There. That should do it. Uh, nobody minds if I stay in here at this time, do they? Not at all. But Roderick wouldn't have been so cheerful if he'd seen where the next cannonball landed. His lovely boat is ruined. Soon, Hammy really gets the hang of firing the cannon. Oh, oh, this is fun! This is dangerous. I'd better tell Hammy to stop. But while Roderick is rushing to stop him, Hammy is having the time of his life. Oh, oh, oh. Just look at the damage he's done. Of course, Hammy is very sorry. He was having such fun, he just didn't think that what goes up must come down. But by the time he's repaired all the damage, he'll have learned his lesson well. I've just thought, Hammy, <laughs> there is one thing that can go up, but doesn't have to come down. Oh, what's that? An umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
It's mid-morning and still no sign of life in the post office. Where can Turtle be? There he is, with Mr Gerbil. No, no, come on, Gerbil. I'm sorry, Turtle. But it's such a silly idea. My mind's made up. Well, I think it's daft. <laughs> Delivering letters by river. It, it, it isn't even safe. But it's quicker. Oh, maybe, but I can't see it catching on. Oh, it will, Turtle. Believe me. Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, poor turtle. <laughs> He'll be out of a job soon, yeah. When everyone starts giving me their letters to deliver. <laughs> Who's that who mend? Oh, it sounds like Gerbil. Morning. Oh, it is Gerbil. In in a post boat. Well, I never. So GP has an idea. If he has a boat mail, I'm having an air mail. Uh, and what about me? Uh, sorry, Turtle. You're too slow. Yeah, but, but I'm reliable. No good. It's speed that counts. Really? Oh, yes. No question. Roll up, roll up. Get your letters delivered faster than you ever dreamed possible. Oh boy, am I going to show them what a real postal service is like. They'll wonder why they ever bothered with old Slowcoach Turtle. So, GP's postplane takes to the air. And Gerbil's postboat takes to the river. And disaster is only moments away. Here we are. My first delivery. A letter for Roderick Rat. Ah, Roderick's house. I'll just fly down low and drop off his parcel. Wait a minute. It's Gerbil. He's going to beat me to it. Where's that parcel? It must be here somewhere. Oh, it's GP. He mustn't get ahead of me. Ah, here it is. Oh, no. It's stuck. Oh, come out. Come out. As GP pulls, the letters start to slip. GP can only watch helplessly as the letters and parcels tumble down. Oh no, what am I going to tell Turtle and the others? The same thought occurs to Gerbil. As the precious post sinks slowly to the bottom of the river, they both realize that Turtle was right. It's often better to be slow and safe than fast and sorry.
A terrible thing has happened. The post boat has sunk. And now Hammy is trying to get the letters back. Oh, dear me. Oh, this is ever so tricky. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Oh, oh you silly thing. Right, let's try again. Gently does it. Does it? Yeah. Got you. Ah. But Hammy's delight turns to sadness when he gets to the surface. Oh, they're all ruined. The birthday cards we sent to our auntie. My football pools coupon. And my party invitations. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, well, there's only one thing for it. You'll have to ride them all out again. Oh, but even if we do, they'll never get there in time. Not now. Oh, yes, they will. If GP takes them in his plane. So the animals sharpen their pencils and set to work. <laughs> Then it's down to the post office again, and the rest depends on GP. Hold on to your hat, Hammy. Right, now, there's Roderick's house up ahead. Get ready to drop his parcel out. But we can't do that. It'll break. What? You mean we've got to land? But that'll take ages. Hello, Hemi. GP. <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. Uh, sorry, Roderick, no time to chat. We haven't a moment to lose. As GP had feared, it takes ages to get Roderick's post unloaded and delivered. At last, the two friends are airborne again. And GP suddenly thinks of a way to speed things up. Uh, uh, are you sure uh, this is safe, GP? Uh, of course it is. Just you shout when you're ready and I'll lower away. Now, are you ready? No, 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 not yet, not yet, no, 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 no not yet. No! no. Don't panic. Everything's under control. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, how silly of me to agree to this. Oh. Now, where's Miss Mutch's house? Ah, there it is. Hang on, Amy. What was that noise? Yes, indeed, well done. Because thanks to Hammy's bravery and GP's clever idea, the animals of the riverbank are going to get their letters delivered on time after all.
The riverbank looks especially beautiful in the summertime when all the pretty flowers are out. But for some, it means a lot of extra hard work. Hammy is doing some gardening and he's very annoyed. It's just not fair. I shouldn't have to do this at all. But it isn't pushing the heavy roller that's annoying him. It's GP. I should never have trusted him. He's made a complete mess of my garden. All those extra flowers I've got to plant. Oh, what a nuisance. It's going to take me ages. Good morning, Miss Mudge. Oh, good morning, Roderick. Uh, I've got some lovely fresh plums in, if you're interested. Well, actually, <laughs> I wondered if you'd seen GP today. No. Because, uh, well, he's planning a special surprise for Hammy's garden. Hello there, Hammy. I'm not sure I want to talk to you today, GP. Why? What's the matter? Well, thanks to you, I've got a lot more gardening to do. Gardening? Yes, I've got that lot to plant. But what about all those seeds I sowed for you weeks ago? Didn't they grow? Oh, <laughs> they grew all right, <laughs> yeah, in all sorts of funny lines and shapes. So now I've got to start all over again. No, don't do that, Hammy. Oh, why ever not? Because, uh, because, uh, well, I think you should come for a ride in my plane instead. GP, I really shouldn't be doing this. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, I've got something special to show you. What? Oh, just be patient and hold on tight. in the air, everything looks very different, so small and difficult to recognize. And although Hammy is quite used to flying now, he still isn't used to the way things look below. So, where's this surprise? Well, just let's get up a bit higher. There. That's better. Now, just you take a look down there. Where? I can't see anything up. Oh! GP. Oh, that's marvellous. It's my day. <laughs> In flowers. <laughs> it's the most wonderfully clever thing you've ever done. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. Think nothing of it, I mean. I'm just glad you like it. When they land, Roderick is there to meet them. <laughs> so, Hemi, still want to tidy up your garden, eh? Oh, no, not now. It's perfect, <laughs> just the way it is.
storm is raging on the riverbank, and the trees need all their strength to stand up to it. They're lucky. They have long roots that go deep into the ground to stop them falling over. But not everything's as strong as the trees. Oh, GP, where are you? GP, GP. What's the matter, Army? Oh, it's the circus tent. It's been blown down in the storm. Well, getting yourself all excited isn't going to help. GP explains that it's much better to go calmly over to the circus to see if they can help. Come on, up in. We're not going in this, are we? Why? What's wrong with it? Well, it's fallen to bits. You see, there you go again. You worry too much. Well, well uh, drive slowly anyway. Relax, Sammy. I know what I'm doing. Oh, thank goodness that's over. Dear me, this is a mess, isn't it? Still, never mind. I'll soon have it up again. <laughs> Stand back, Hammy. Uh, uh, GP, I, 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 I don't think this is going to work. Don't be silly, Hammy. Of course it'll work. Here. What's that the smell? It's, it's it's the engine, GP. It's 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 gonna blow up. No, it's not. I keep telling you, calm down. You let yourself get too excited. Anyway, I've got another idea. GP's other idea is his balloon. And he needs to be very brave to go up in such a strong wind. Oh, my goodness. It is a bit blowy. <laughs> it's lucky I'm a great pilot. <laughs> now then, where's that tent? Ah, there it is. Right. Let's see. I'll use the anchor for this job. Are you sure this will work, GP? Of course it'll work. Just you watch. And it does work, too. Slowly but surely, GP pulls the tent poles up until at last the big circus top is back where it was before the storm. Oh, oh, oh. it worked, GP. It really worked. Well, I told you it would. There's no need to be so excited. Aren't you excited? No, no. Why should I be? I never, never get excited. Not even when the circus owner gives us free tickets as a reward? Free tickets? Yeah. What, for the show? Yeah, and it's just about to start. Ho, 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 ho. So, uh, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> well, now, I don't know about you, Hammy, but if GP hadn't told me otherwise, I'd have said that's a very excited guinea pig.
can GP be going in such a hurry? I'm fed up with him. He thinks he's so wonderful. Hello, GP. Oh, hello, Betty. Look, I want to talk to you about someone who's annoying me. Ah, oh, yes. Abe, the magician. But, but, how did you know that? Well, I've just been looking in my crystal ball. Gosh, Betty, uh, can you show me how to do magic like that? What for? So I can teach Abe a lesson. Oh, <laughs> but there's an easier way than that. GP listens carefully as Betty explains that every magician has a special magic word. And if anyone can guess what it is, they can take away his magic. Oh, Betty, th thanks ever so much. Uh, I'll see you later. Abe, meanwhile, is doing what he does best, showing off. Bobo, what would you like me to do with Rupert here? Shall I turn him into a bird, or a frog, or even a grey squirrel? Oh, a squirrel would be nice. Yes, I think it would. What do you think, Rupert? Well, well, I, 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 I'd rather just go home, if you, if you don't mind. Aha! GP, what brings you here? Well, I heard you were doing some tricks, so I thought I'd pop along and show you some real magic. I hope you know what you're doing, GP. Yeah, me too. Tricks? Did you say? Ho, ho, ho. I'll show you. And with that, Abe whispers his magic word. Heavens above! Oh, oh my goodness! Well, what did you think of that? Oh, not bad, uh, but I can make him come back again. <laughs> hey, presto! But nothing happens. Abracadabra! Again, nothing happens. And no matter how many magic words GP uses, there's no sign of Rupert. Abracadabra! <laughs> you mean Abracadabra! <laughs> oh, it's your camera, GP. Yes, isn't that what he wanted? <laughs> GP has never been so embarrassed in all his life. For a moment, he doesn't know what to say, and then he just loses his temper. Oh, um, uh, fiddlesticks! And that's when it happens. My hat! It's on your head. Is it really? Oh, my goodness! Oh, don't pretend. You knew all along that fiddlesticks was my magic word, didn't you? GP thinks for a moment, and then he decides not to tell Abe that it was just a lucky guess. Because although he's not a real magician, he'd like to be one very much.
what's this? GP seems to be having a problem. Oh! Oh, oh come on, you silly thing! Oh! Oh, no! Uh, what's going on? Oh, Taurus, is that you? Yes, it's me, all right, Harry. Are uh, you in there? Uh, yeah, uh, with Roderick. You see, <coughs> GP's been trying to launch us, but he isn't quite strong enough. <laughs> Would you try? Why, yeah, of course. I'll fetch my special harness. Poor GP. His feelings are hurt as he stands back and watches Tortoise doing what has always been his job. Ah, uh, uh, this is no problem at all to me. There's hardly anything I can't shift. Uh, with my special harness. There, now. Will that suit you, huh? Oh, yes, thanks. Now, if you could just lure us into the water. As Tortoise lowers away, GP can't help feeling just a little lonely and unwanted. Down in the diving bell, meanwhile, Hammy and Roderick are far too excited to notice. Uh, let's do some exploring, Roderick, eh? Oh, yes, good idea, Hammy. We'll uh, head in that direction at um, half speed. Uh, don't you think this is a little bit fast for half speed? I, uh, I, I was just about to say that myself. It's, uh, it's not my fault. Uh, uh, no, I, I've noticed something else. What? Well, the steering's not working. Watch out for those rocks. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Are you all right, Roderick? Yes. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think so. Uh, but uh, what do we do now, hmm? Luckily, up on the surface, GP realises that something's wrong. Uh, Tortoise, I, I think you'd better bring them up. Right, oh, I'll just, uh, wait, wait a minute. <coughs> it seems to be stuck. Stuck? Oh, no. We've got to get them up somehow. I, I tell you what, you stay here while I run and get help. But GP knows that help may arrive too late, and so, using all his strength, he heaves and heaves on the rope until suddenly the diving bell breaks free. And just look what's caught on it. Oh, we're moving, Roderick. We're moving. You good old tortoise. <laughs> up, up, up goes the diving bell until it reaches the surface. And the two friends scramble out to thank their rescuer. They can't believe their eyes when first they see GP and then they see the treasure. Oh, GP. You've saved us and brought up enough treasure to buy a brand new diving bell. Whoa. GP doesn't answer because pulling up the diving bell has left him completely out of puff.
there's nothing quite like a quiet trip down the river on one of those lazy summer days when everything is... Oh, my goodness. Turtle? Turtle? What's happening? We seem to be filling up with water. Turtle, where are you? Oh, good grief. We're sinking. We're definitely sinking. Help! Help! Abandoned ship. Oh, thank heavens. Dry land. Luckily for King Gus, he's landed very close to Roderick Rat's house. Roderick is quite taken aback when he looks up and sees what's coming through his doorway. I say, what can that be? Uh, Roderick, uh, are you in there? Oh, it's you, Your Majesty. Yes, I'm in here. Well, whatever's the matter? Uh, I've, I've just been sunk by an enemy submarine. Enemy submarine? Are you sure? Uh, of course I'm sure. A uh, great big thing it was. Gosh, we'd better go and warn the others. Yeah, I'll say, uh, not a moment to lose. Now, pay attention, everyone. It is my duty, as King of the Riverbank, to tell you that as from now, we are at war. War? 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 Who with? Yeah, who with? Uh, yes, well, uh, who with? Well, we're, we're not actually sure, but uh, one thing's for certain. Uh, we'll be ready. I've told Sergeant Emmy uh, to issue everyone with a rifle, and um, I, I expect every rat and hamster to do their duty. Uh, above all, we must... Uh, R remain calm. They're coming. Yeah, they're coming. Run for your lives. Yeah, run for your lives. Look, they're all over the place. Yeah, where are they? Down there. No, come on. Run. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. But down on the river, all is quiet. And it's the same up in the sky. And all across the land. Not a sign of any enemy anywhere. Hammy suggests sending out patrols, and everyone agrees that this is probably the best thing to do. So, GP is sent up in his airplane. <laughs> Not a sausage. And it's the same when Roderick checks along the river. <laughs> it's very strange. Someone should have seen something by now. But any luck? Not a thing. Yes. How very odd. Yeah. What do you think, GP? I, I really don't know. Did you actually see this submarine turtle? Well, uh, no, but uh, His Majesty did. Uh, yes, well, uh, yeah, n no, not, not exactly. Uh, but there's no doubt at all that it was a submarine. I mean, well, it was so sudden. Uh, no warning at all. It's obvious. An enemy submarine crept up the river and fired two torpedoes. One sinking my boat and the other sinking Port Turtle. Uh, I wasn't sinking. I, I was just having a little dive. A little dive? Eh? You mean you weren't it? by a torpedo. No, I just forgot I was pulling you. Ah. Oh, dear. <clears throat> I, I suppose you all think I'm really silly. Yeah. And for once, old King Gus is right.
water rats in a hurry today. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, I see. He's organizing a boat race for all the animals on the riverbank. Hello. What's this? A race? Oh, good. I like races. You might have guessed that GP would be the first to put his name down for something like this. Of course, it's all very well, but what's he going to use for a boat? What do you think, Hammy? Oh, uh, very nice, yeah. Uh, very nice indeed. You can't race that. It hasn't got a sail. It won't go anywhere. Roderick, of course, is right and tows poor GP back home. He'll have to think of another idea. And where better to think than in the bath? Hmm. I wonder what I can use. Then GP has a great idea. I've got it. I'll use my bath. It kicks water in, so it should keep water out too. It takes a lot of hard work to make GP's bath into a boat. I hope this sail works. But soon, it's ready. And it does work. GP is all set for the race. There are lots of animals watching at the start of the race and lots of animals ready to race too. On your marks, get set, go! Boating is more difficult than it looks. Soon, Turtle decides he needs a rest. Oh, I'm tired. The guinea pig twins just can't sit still. Look out! Look out! Oh, no! The gerbil is too heavy. Help! Help! And even motors can go wrong. Oh, fiddlesticks! I've run out of petrol. In the end, GP is the only one to stay afloat. His boat may not have been the fastest, but it's certainly the steadiest. You're winning, GP! You're winning! What have you done? You were just coming to the finish. Oh, I know. That's the problem. When I'm in the bath and about to finish, I always pull the plug.
It's night time on the riverbank, but Hammy and Betty are still awake. I wonder why. Are, are you sure you haven't lost a crystal ball? No, I've only this one. Well, I found another in the river. Oh, I wonder who it belongs to, because it certainly isn't mine. Hammy hurries off to see if Roderick knows. Roderick? Roderick? Uh, who's that? Uh, what do you want? Oh, uh, it's me, uh, Hammy. Uh, uh, do you know anyone who's lost a crystal ball? No, nobody around here. <laughs> I would know if they had. Hammy explains to Roderick what he's seen, and Roderick agrees to help him look for the crystal ball. In the morning, there's no sign of it, in or out of the river. Oh, uh, Mr. Frog? Oh, yes? Uh, have you seen a crystal ball in the river uh, just here? Um, well, uh, I'm in and out of the water all day long, <laughs> and I've never seen anything like that. Um, no. And so they ask Hedgehog. After all, he snuffles along the riverbank every night, looking for slugs. Uh, a crystal ball? No. And I haven't seen any slugs either. <laughs> My tummy's beginning to rumble again, oh. And Tortoise isn't much help either. Well, uh, there might have been a crystal ball, uh, but then I wouldn't have seen it because at night I like to tuck my head inside my shell. Are you sure you saw it? Oh, yes. Very clearly. Well, there's only one thing for it. And what's that? Go down in the diving bell and look for it ourselves. The diving bell hasn't been used for quite a while, and the doors on the shed are rather stiff. But with everyone's help, it's soon out and ready to be lowered. Steady as she goes, all tight in there. Whereabouts then, Hammy? Well, I, I think it was uh, 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 somewhere over here. Roderick and Hammy search long and hard, but no matter where they look, there's no sign of a crystal ball, or anything else for that matter. This is hopeless. <laughs> no sign of anything. <laughs> Are you sure it was here? I thought it was. <laughs> it must have moved. Hmm, yes, hmm. Well, it must be there. I saw it last night. And the night before. And the night... Oh. And that's when Hammy suddenly realises what it is that he's been looking at. He runs back to the riverbank, and sure enough, there's the crystal ball. Or something very like a crystal ball. <laughs> that's right. You've guessed. <laughs> it's only the moon.
It's very quiet on the riverbank today, and Roderick is enjoying a nice, peaceful spot of fishing. This is the life, eh? -he? But where are GP and Hammy? This is the life, eh, Hammy? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Beats fishing any day. Yeah, I, I, uh, oh, oh, oh. No! I can't understand some of these animals, you know, sitting around all day. No, no, uh, 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 quite. I, I like a bit of action, adventure. Something to keep me on my toes. Yeah, but but are you sure we're safe, GP? Of course we're safe. Look out, GP. Oh no. GP and Hammy are soaked to the skin. Roderick finds it very funny. <laughs> you look like a couple of water rats. <laughs> Let me pull you to the side with my fishing line. <laughs> Thanks, Roderick. I don't know what went wrong. I do. It was your flying. Once in front of a warm fire, GP and Hammy are soon dry again, and soon fast asleep as well, exhausted by their adventure. And they're still fast asleep the next morning when Roderick gets up. Wake up, lazy bones. <laughs> I've got an idea, and I'll need your help. What idea is that, then? Roderick shows them some plans. The idea involves building something. Careful with that saw. And then, painting. and fixing. Have you guessed what they're doing yet? That's right. They're making floats for the plane to land on water. Hang on. Steady. Steady. She goes. The plane takes off from the water as easily as it does from land. Oh, well done, Roderick. <laughs> Roderick isn't listening, though. He's just happy to get back to a spot of...
It's raining again on the riverbank, just as it's done for three whole weeks. If it doesn't stop soon, everything will be washed away. Oh, I'm fed up with this. Just look at the damage it's done. GP, are you in there? Of course I'm in here. There's nowhere else to go. Oh, GP, I'm so worried. About what? Well, about all the animals who are trapped with no food to eat. Oh, gosh, I never thought of that. You're right. We've got to do something. Hemi! Hemi! Oh, oh Roderick, oh, oh, thank heavens. Oh, I'm ever so hungry. I thought you might be. Come on, climb aboard. I've got lots of goodies for you. Oh, Roderick, oh, oh, you're so kind. Never mind all that. There's others to help. GP, meanwhile, has gone to Miss Much's shop with his raft. That's it, Miss Much. Keep floating the food out to me. Well, there's not much left, GP. The floods destroyed most of it. Well, see if you can sort out some more while I take this lot back to the aeroplane. But unfortunately, there's a problem. Oh, no. What's, what's the matter? Oh, the plane. It won't be able to take off. Look, GP. Oh, heck. Now, how are we going to get the food to the rest of the animals? Uh, what about the boat? Or the raft? I'm afraid neither's any good. No, they'd keep getting caught on fences and bushes just under the water. It'll just have to be the balloon. Come on, hurry up, Ami. Right. I, I think that's it. Let's go, then. Now, what's the matter? Well, there's too much on board. Oh, well, we'll just have to leave some of it behind. So Hammy unloads some of the food, and at last, the balloon begins to rise. <laughs> Start dropping it, Hammy. What, all of it? Yes, all of it. There's lots of hungry animals down there. Piece by piece, Hammy throws all the food off the raft. Until at last, it's all gone, every last piece. Then it's back to the shop for some more. Meanwhile, Roderick has come up with an idea of his own. Why didn't I think of this before? You mean, why didn't I think of it? Come on, kids. Let's get going. Oh, good luck, everyone. And thanks again. Uh, don't mention it. We're only glad we can help. And so, in the end, none of the animals along the riverbank go hungry. And it's all thanks to Roderick, GP and Hammy.